Hello, my name is Matthew Krupsack. I am a computer scientist from Atlanta, Georgia, and today I'm proud to be presenting some software that I've been working on called Open Athena. Open Athena is some free and open source software which allows consumer and professional drones to spot precise geodetic locations. This solves a common challenge with small commercial and professional UAS drones that they can locate themselves very precisely as a longitude, latitude, and altitude, but they have a hard time locating anything that they're looking at on the ground. With Open Athena, I've developed a novel technique whereby the position and orientation data stored by common drones is compared against a digital elevation model, which stores the altitude of terrain, to find the exact spot on the ground located in the center of the picture frame. This technique may have many commercial and military applications. Open Athena takes as an input um, images from common types of drones for position and orientation data, as well as a digital elevation model stored as a GeoTIFF TIF file. The GeoTIFF file format is an efficient lossless compression which allows large areas of the Earth to be stored with a minimal file size for later offline use by Open Athena. Open Athena can operate without an internet connection. In this image, we see a demonstration of a prototype version of Open Athena. In the image on the right, we can see that the exact center of the image is marked with a red dot, and using the Open Athena technique, a precise location corresponding to that dot is located on the Earth as a latitude, longitude, or NATO military grid ref. Today I will be showing Open Athena for Android, a fully Android Java port of Open Athena, complete with an easy to use graphical user interface. Today I will be showing how to download a digital elevation model for a specified area from the website opentopography.org, which is not affiliated with this project, and load that DEM into Open Athena for Android. Once a DEM for the covered area is loaded, it is possible to um, open images taken by drones in that area and locate the exact spot on the ground in the center of the picture frame. So to get started, we'll search for open topography, SRTM 30 meter. The correct data set will be the SRTM GL1 global 30 meter as shown here. To download a digital elevation model for a specified area, we first scroll down to this map view and then zoom into the area for which we wish to obtain digital elevation data. For my test image, it's located in Cobb Down County, Georgia, so I will zoom in. I hit this button that says select a region to get started. And then I click and drag the cursor to cover the intended area. Once I am satisfied with the covered area, I can scroll down. I can enter in my job title and description, as well as email address. and I can request a download for this area without having to sign in. I hit the Submit button. After a moment or two, the job will finish, and a download will be available for the covered area stored as a compressed tarball which contains the GeoTIFF image. 
So, first I download that tarball, and notice that it's in the tar.gz compressed format. To extract the geotiff file from this tarball, we need to use a utility such as tar on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Or, if you, that's unavailable to you, you can use a program called 7-zip on Windows. On Windows 10 or newer, we can simply open PowerShell. We can change into the downloads directory by typing cd space tilde, holding shift, it's the button above the tab key, slash downloads. If I type in dir, dir, it will show the files in my downloads directory. To extract the tarball and obtain the GeoTIFF digital elevation model image, I can run the command tar space dash xvzf space, and then I can just type rosters and hit tab, and the name of the rest of the file will automatically be completed, and then hit enter. If I now look in my downloads directory, I see that the GeoTIFF digital elevation model file has successfully been extracted. Now for use with Open Athena for Android, I can copy this to my Android device using any number of means for moving a file, and then load it into Open Athena for Android, which I will show in just a moment. Alrighty. Now that I've copied my GeoTIFF digital elevation model file to my Android device, I'll show you how you can use Open Athena to load it and then process on an image taken by a DJI drone to locate an exact spot on the ground. So first I need to install Open Athena onto my Android device. If I go into a web browser and go to openathena.com, Scroll down and click View the Project on GitHub. And then scroll down and find the link for Open Athena for Android. If I look over on the right and scroll down and click on the Releases link, I'll see releases of the latest versions of the software. If I scroll down and click on the Assets tab, and then download the APK file. I can then download it and open it to install. For the purposes of this demo, I've already installed the app, so I'll just open it here. And now I'm running Open Athena for Android. To begin, I'll load the GeoTIFF digital elevation model file that I moved earlier from my Windows computer onto this device. I tap the button with the picture of a mountain on it to load a digital elevation model file. And normally it will look something like this. And as we can see, the image preview is blank for the GeoTIFF file. This is completely normal and is to be expected. If I want more info and to see the file name, I can click on this button here which shows the file name and the date the image was last modified. If I now click on it, a toast will appear saying, Loading GeoTIFF, please wait. And then depending on the size of the GeoTIFF file, it can take either a few seconds or up to a minute to load the digital elevation model file into memory. Once that's complete, we'll see some text show up on the right saying, GeoTIFF DEM loaded. It'll tell us the size in the latitude and longitude area range covered by the digital elevation model file. Now, if I tap on the picture of a picture frame, I can select a drone image to load and calculate the location for. So I use this one for this example, DGI uh, 0419.jpg. Um, if you're using this live while you're flying a DJI drone, for instance, um, photos can be downloaded while the drone is still flying, 
into a folder called um, uh, DJI Gallery under DCIM in Android. So we can select the image, and then we'll see this text appears selected image. That lets us know that the image has been loaded. And then finally, if we hit this little button of the abacus, it'll perform the calculation using the technique described previously. So we can see instantly that it calculated the location on the ground in the exact center of the picture frame and provides us a Google Maps link either as a latitude longitude or as a NATO military grid ref. And so if I click on either of those links, I can see that it located the spot on the ground in the exact center of the picture frame. If I choose satellite view, I can see the spot on the ground. And if I compare it with the image, it got it pretty close. This can be used with images taken by a DJI, Skydio, Parrot, or Autel drone. Um, certain models of DJI are not compatible, such as the um, DJI Mini 2 and older firmware versions of something like the DJI Air 2S. But otherwise, with the latest models and firmware, um, this will work pretty well. I've had good results with Skydio and Parrot aircraft as well, but um, have had some issues with uh, drones made by Autel Robotics in terms of sensor data accuracy. So yeah, that's all I have to show today for Open Athena for Android. Um, I hope this process is interesting and uh, you got some value out of this video. Um, all of this is available for free and open source at openathena.com. Anyways, thanks for watching.